Oh, hello. So I'm really happy to uh, introduce SK Hynix new vision uh, memory uh, forest initiate, uh, creating EGS value in data area. I'm Kis Kim, uh, director of the DRAM uh, technology group in SK Hynix. Uh, ESG uh, stands for the environment, uh, social, and governance uh, in terms of the uh, really ethical and the environmental uh, value and aspect of company. What I would like to uh, discuss is SK Hynix new vision for memory forest initiative. Uh, we need to create the ESG value with SK Hynix. Uh, have you ever felt that the really what really matter in your life is not what you see, but what we don't see, like uh, this love, faith, and happiness, and vision. There are critical uh, factors that define one's life. Of course, monetary profit is really important, but providing value uh, above this uh, financial factor will SK Hynix and SK Group together had it too. So the intention of the, my presentation is to show you how SK Hynix uh, aim to create this uh, great value with our SK Hynix memory solution from in-package memory to SSD. Okay, uh, let's get started. So uh, terabyte uh, data error. So, as you already know well uh, from keynote of our industry leaders, this is uh, industry is really, really uh, driving the uh, data. Because of the, this one, uh, diverse application uh, has been emerged, like uh, AI, IoT, 5G, AL, cloud. As a result of the, this one, uh, the number of the data has been uh, dramatically uh, increased from uh, 33 uh, terabyte in 2018 is expected to increase 175 terabyte by 2025 time frame. Uh, at the same, uh, same time frame, the number of the users uh, connecting uh, internet people increased from 5 billion to 6 billion by 2025 uh, time frame, which is a 75% of world uh, population. And also the number of the device, uh, connected device to IoT also will increase from 23 billion to 75 billion. Uh, this is a really great, but a uh, side effect is that this uh, data creation, um, this data creation has a negative impact, especially for the power and TCO uh, increase at the data center. The importance of the, this uh, TCO reduction and usage of the, this uh, green energy is growing as a result of the data explosion inside the data center. So as you can see, chart on the left, the power consumption, just the data power alone, uh, is expected to account for up to 15% of the total world power by 2025 time frame. In the meantime, just lag power, uh, lag power requirement also exponentially increase. That has an impact cooling and maintenance burden as well. So in order to resolve this issue, major CSP um, cloud service provider is uh, considering the new functions. That means carbon dioxide, uh, net zero carbon uh, dioxide emission by 2030 and 2040 by converting the new eco-friendly energy like uh, solar and wind. Uh, this is a, a really uh, great thing, but 
SK Hynix also how do we contribute to society and environment with our technology. That is the one of the key point that what SK Hynix would like to address for today. So uh, this uh, slide show is, I already mentioned that uh, how do we resolve this uh, TCO, the increase of the TCO, and how to protect our uh, environment with the, our solution. The two key thing is that one is <clears throat> with our uh, high speed and low power solution, we can dramatically reduce the TCO of the uh, data center. And also with the new technology like a CXL or new like a real data processing unit, we can also dramatically uh, improve the energy efficiency. By doing this, we can also improve energy efficiency and the uh, data center TCO that have a directly impact on our environment. So I'm really uh, happy to uh, introduce SK Hynix new vision, which is a memory forest initiative. So as you know well, so this memory uh, nature forest is the most ideal ecosystem. And our memory forest is strive to build equivalent our ecosystem. And also this, our SK Hynix memory forest means memory for EST, E environment, S society, T technology creating the easiest value with the ecosystem partner and customer in this ever-growing uh, data error. So as you can see, the nature forest consists of the four layer, emergent, canopy, understory, and forest uh, floor. In the meantime, memory hierarchy also consists of the uh, four area. This, emer uh, this emergent area can be mapped to like a IPM, HBM, and canopy can be mapped to the normal DDL4 and DDL5. And under three can be mapped to SCM and compute SSD. And last layer, forest floor can be mapped to like a HDD and storage SSD. From the application standpoint, we can also map to the AI and machine learning model for emergent and canopy can be mapped to uh, real-time analytics, understory for the batch analytics, forest floor for the data lake. Anyway, so with, the, this, uh, with the, this memory forest initiative, SK Hynix really would like to create the value, contribute to society environment with our all possible uh, memory solution from HBM to the SSD. So uh, let me uh, explain, especially for EST. First one is environment. We have a bunch of the consideration factor for resource, TCO, trash, and water, toxic uh, chemical. Uh, definitely, so uh, SK Hynix memory need to provide a low power and high performance and robust, reliable memory solution to user. Uh, from the uh, manufacturing standpoint, more recycle, more resource, and save utility and material, and also less waste. That one is from the uh, manufacturer standpoint for environment. And society, uh, definitely, so uh, we need to uh, provide right memory solution to stakeholder, investor, partner, customer, supplier, uh, employee, especially uh, we need to take uh, any new business opportunity for investor. We also need to make uh, some open innovation for partner. And also we need to provide a really great value added uh, memory solution for customer and closer collaboration with the supplier and also safe and really great working environment for our employee, which is the most important factor for society. And for tomorrow, final is the tomorrow. Tomorrow is for our uh, technology. We really would like to pursue this, with the, this kind of the technology, 
we really would like to contribute to society and the environment. That's the, our uh, vision and the vision and the, our uh, direction in the future. So, so that how what SK Hynix do to uh, achieve the, this goal, especially for memory forest. Uh, there are two possible factors. Uh, first one is uh, value up in existing memory. With the existing memory, I already mentioned that the high performance and low power memory, that is a, a really a good impact for the uh, TCO improvement and improve the, some uh, like uh, energy efficiency. And second one, in the future, uh, CXL will be coming and also huge amount of the data. We also consider the, like a PIM, processing memory, and real data processing, in storage uh, processing uh, as well. With the, this one, uh, SK Hynix can improve the, uh, improve the energy efficiency by reducing the uh, data movement. We can also uh, improve the, some uh, power consumption as well. So uh, let me explain how SK Hynix provide a value proposition in data center error. So we have a two kind of the, some memory solution. First one is high performance with what? Per what? Memory type solution like a DDL5, HBM2, HBM3, and CXL memory. The second one is a local uh, computational memory type like a, a real data processing, processing memory, in storage, uh, processing memory. So as you can see on this uh, diagram, SK Hynix has a HBM solution integrate next to the CPU, GPU, MPU, and DDL memory in the local area. The CXL memory is coming. The CXL memory with the CXL uh, controller can implement value added function like uh, NDP, real data processing, and the ISP uh, into the SSD controller. This one is uh, connected to the CS, uh, CXL switch. And also, this uh, CXL fabric allow connection to memory pool, this aggregated solution to uh, outside of the server area. Uh, this one uh, has uh, memory resource can be more flexible, more efficient with the less power. This is uh, uh, so. Let me explain the item by item. So first one is a uh, DDL5 uh, HBM2. How SK Hynix DDL5 HBM solution can contribute, especially in uh, TCO at the data center. So as you can see, SK Hynix uh, launched world first DDL5 in October 2020 time frame, which is uh, almost a double bandwidth compared to DDL4. That means reduce the number of the server for same system performance. Uh, you, don't, you don't need to put the two PCS of the DDL4. You can put the only one DDL4 can achieve the similar performance. The TCO, what is the data, data center nature? Data center nature is reduce the area. Real estimate is one of the key thing. And also how to reduce the power. That's the key point for the TCO. The second one is HBM2E. Uh, SK Hynix uh, launched world fastest HBM2E with a, a 450 gigabyte per second in 2019 time frame. We are uh, doing mass production. This HBM2E energy pico joule per bit is about a 20% range compared to the conventional DDL4. Uh, so uh, this one is uh, also dramatically improved the uh, data center uh, TCO. So two or three weeks ago, SK Hynix also had a press release World first uh, HBM3, which is uh, available for the uh, early sample these days. And next, uh, definitely I promise the CXL memory is coming, which is a promising game changer in the data center industry. So by, uh, uh, by implementing the, this uh, CXL uh, memory solution, uh, we can provide a lot of the, some bandwidth memory expansion and capacity memory expansion and persistent memory expansion as well. With the, this uh, CXL solution, we can uh, scale out the both and bandwidth and, uh, bandwidth and capacity 
with the less uh, power consumption and the thermal issue. And with the this uh, CXL uh, switch, also we can uh, connect it to the memory pool. That one is a uh, uh, that one is a great impact, great uh, impact to manage the, some uh, memory resource across the uh, board. According to the, this one, SK Hynix also planning to support the CXL, three types of the CXL memory solution. CXL CME, capacity memory expansion, and bandwidth memory expansion, and persistent memory expansion solution. We are actively working with the partner and customer to uh, build the ecosystem for CXL. So uh, this is a additional memory for us. Uh, think about that, NDP and ISP, near data processing, in-storage in processing solution. With the uh, CXL, uh, CXL error, we can also implement the CX NDF, near data processing solution, into the CXL controller and SSD controller uh, accordingly. By using that, so NDP, some specific deep learning, deep learning and recommendation model case, power consumption is less consumed, about 80% compared to GPU only server, especially for the recommendation model. Why? So that's the reason why SK Hynix these days are considering the computational memory solution, which is the ultimate solution for memory intensive workload in the future. Uh, think about that. These days, uh, data size is getting bigger and larger. But some kind of the usage model does not need to large uh, computing uh, capability. What kind of the usage model is good for this uh, computational memory solution? Uh, there are two kind of the CSM uh, use cases. The first one is a personal recommendation. Second one is a big data analytics. Both two things is really need huge amount of the data, but less uh, computing capability. In that case, we don't need to, we don't need to uh, move the, this huge amount of the data to the CPU and the upper uh, memory level. With the, this NDP real data processing, uh, with the huge amount of data, after that, result is just a, a simple, extract a simple uh, result, like, oh, this is a, your uh, recommendation. Oh, this is a recommendation for your family, like uh, clothes and uh, your appliance, something like that. Second one is a data, big data analytics is the same. With the huge amount of the uh, data, we can extract uh, just a simple result, like a project, filter, join, and aggregate it. That's the reason why with the, this massive uh, memory intensive workload, or we can uh, create the value with the, this uh, near data processing concept. So uh, anyway, so SK Hynix is really would like to seek the open innovation. Since uh, without the, some customers and partners help, uh, we cannot uh, create the, this kind of the, uh, ESG value. So call uh, to the action. I really would like to invite you to this great journey and great vision. Because this sustainability is one of the most important things. We need to pass both great technology and great environment to our next generation. Thank you.